Oh, huh. Hey, uh, yeah. Uh, a new video. Uh, that's weird. I don't do videos. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're back to room two, I guess. Look at me being happy. I'm not happy, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, we're back to DI again. Look at me happy. I'm not happy. Uh, but that's it. Um, there, there's no way out. There's total war or nothing else, pretty much. Uh, look at me happy. I'm not happy. Um, anyway, yeah, I didn't do any video for, for a long time. I probably won't do a lot of videos in the future, but... Um, I will do some video. Um, I'm particularly what? excited about this uh, battle, by the way, because this is done with my own mod. Um, so it's basically a mod that allows me to win everything. No, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, I made this mod. Um, it brings back some of the things I like the most, uh, such as very tight formations, uh, as you can see here. I mean, these guys are only 200. Uh, but as you can see, there's not like we can't spread them all the way across the uh, across the map. And uh, most importantly, it does copy paste the um, mod by I don't remember. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, that uh, is a larger battlefield um, with uh, smaller deployment areas like here and here. I think it's really cool because it allows you to exploit the terrain a little bit. Um, like it makes you, like it forces you to move, uh, to scout, and and so on. I really, really like. I really, really like it. How am I talking today? Um, anyway, um, so yeah, as you can see, we're um, we're already. Damn it! All right, we're already scouting. I have my um, Numidian cavalry here. Um, and so he's playing, um, so on the other side is, um, we find Galatia, uh, brought by, uh, Swordcunt, which I thank for, uh, playing. Um, um, of course, this is literally the only battle, I think, this is the only battle I won that day. But, um, so yeah, this is representative of my ability to play. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I guess this is literally the only battle I won that day. I was testing a, a bit too. Um, this is a 40v40. Um, and I'm playing Rome. Now, on Rome, this mod does a lot of changes. Um, as you can see on the name, you can see Polybian. Uh, well, you can see only Polybian because I only brought Polybian units. Uh, but of course, in the Roman roster, you can find Polybian, Camillan. Uh, Marian and Imperial uh, Rome, right? So you can pretty much say uh, which unit goes into which reform um, just by the name. You don't have to look on um, on the website or anything, which makes it faster, honestly, to tell the units apart um, and allows you to roam uh, play a little bit easier. Um, even because if you allow Libyan Rome units and Imperial Rome units, even in the vanilla DI, Rome is gonna be really, really hard to uh, to deal with. Um, so the changes in Rome makes it so that um, Camillan Rome is supposed to be weak enough, um, not so good. Uh, Polybian Rome is supposed to be balanced. Um, and Marian and Imperial Rome are supposed to be OP. Imperial Rome is made for, is meant for only uh, like new players. Um, it's really meant for for that. It has like you can literally bring, like it's really expensive. You can't bring uh, twenty units or forty in this case. Um, uh, by the way, I don't I don't have twenty units either. So uh, Rome is still pretty expensive. Um, so yeah, um, why don't why don't they have the uh, dust? I want the dust. Where's the dust? Oh, there's the dust. Nice. Oh hell yeah. Uh, 
I, I still love the game, uh, look of this game, unfortunately. Uh, it's just so much better than other Total Wars, in my opinion. Uh, although, I mean, look at this. Like, the textures are real bad. But, I mean... I don't know. Still, they don't have the weird look of um, Attila or... Well, I mean, they're, and they're not uh, Thrones of Britannia, which is pointless. It's a pointless game. Um, anyway, I forgot completely what I was saying before, so, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, no, yeah, I wanted to, uh, say, um, I think I was lucky in this battle, it's, like, especially lucky, because he brought Galatia. Now, Galatia has, I think, is probably one of the worst counters to, uh, Rome, um, because it doesn't, it does lack both the mobility and the... Um, you know, the force power to just punch through the first line of Romans, or the second line, or any line of Romans, uh, due to a general lack of uh, good shield walls or oplites or pikes, um, while Rome can count on a stupid amount of defensive formation. Um, so, so yeah, that's... I, I was a little lucky in this, in this battle. Uh, couldn't do much more than he did. Um, he did have more units than I had. Um, but even so, the Romans don't really fear that a lot. They have a huge morale. Even if you go behind, I, I don't know how much they could honestly uh, break. Romans don't give a shit. They're just like, oh, we're fighting for our republics. Republic. Republic. And, oh my god, we have some more Pajama Boy. Well... I don't like Galatians. They look... And finally, there they are. And finally, there they are. Okay, so he has some Galician naked warriors here. Uh, 200 men, 4 ammo, 1415. Oh yeah, this is the new uh, Shakespeare, <laughs> Shakespeare units that they uh, introduce in 1.3.1 um, um, of the game. Uh, this is like a sort of both. This is like both missile infantry and Shakespeare because it, it has 4 ammo, and 14, 15, and 29 charge. Now, by the way, if you're wondering what what is a spear, um, a spear shock infantry, I don't know. I don't think that exists. They just just they just made it up. Like, whoo, shock spear infantry. Whatever that is. All right. They do weird things from time to time. Oh, uh, those are cool. That's pretty. I like them. Galician Chosen Swordman. 1512. Uh, yeah, that this is the average um, swordman, uh, noble swordman. Um, they all have 1512. Um, I see a 51 morale. 51 morale is actually pretty high. Um, I don't know if I changed it or if, um, or if it's normal for, for Galatia, like, or if it's the same in, uh, Vanilla DI as well. Oh, there's some skirmishing going on here. The, uh, Stati Samnitici has, have lost nothing. The very light, what? Very light melee infantry. It's still no, it's doing, doing pretty well. The Sam Knights are gonna give a charge here. Uh, this, uh, looks like a good charge. Oh, uh, one more change that I um, did um, is to remove the formation. Or so basically, Rome now doesn't have uh, for most of its units um, square formations anymore. Um, the square formations were extremely annoying because if you lost the cat fight, 
you just didn't didn't have, didn't have any problem because you would just you know pop the square formation on and and it's done like you don't have to do anything more uh, you can protect against the enemy cavalry just with squares and it sucks it makes the gameplay a little boring for for the other for the side with cavalry um, so yeah um, I took it off except for some unit um, such as the Triari or the General where, where the, the Triari are all the way back oh yeah I like this bottle because I kept the formation almost historically accurate so I had like the uh, the Sochi um, on the front then I had the Astadi the um, the Principes and the Triari on on the back um, I don't know I just I thought it was fun uh, we played extremely tight um, I really liked I really enjoyed this battle I was also lucky because I had the tempo on my side uh, like my deployment was really good matter of fact we uh, we agreed on pushing but of course I mean he's on a slope and I have the tempo so uh, yeah I was lucky on that too um, my cavalry is here. What's my cavalry doing here? But anyway, um, I was saying I removed the um, square formation on most of the Romans, uh, so only some unit of Roman now has the square formation. Oh, look at the blood! That's cool. Look at this. Yeah, that barbarian. Die, scum. Barbarians. Ugh. Stinky and filthy. Yeah, these arrows are not going to do anything to the Astadi. They're just like, ah, boy, we don't care. We have 40 armor. 40 armor? By the way, that's ridiculous. But anyway. Oh, now the uh, noble swords are coming in. Whatever, the chosen uh, fuckmen. The chosen fuckmen. Uh, the chosen swordmen are coming in and... Yeah, well, the study are still doing pretty, pretty well. Um, I think most of the Sochi by now are dead. Um, no, except the Peditus Extraordinary, but they're pretty expensive. They cost like 1,300. Uh, they're really good. Uh, but they're spears, and they don't have the square formation anymore. So, yeah. Uh, pretty, oh, we also have the Principes Samnitici here that are holding quite well uh, I mean no they're about to break but they did heal enough I think even because they're fighting the nobles now I push the Triari into the nobles the Triari should handle the, the, the chosen swordman better here I should definitely retreat this spring capacity. there you go I love the Samnite's shield they're so good looking so good looking Look at them, they're awesome. <laughs> uh, especially the um, Astadi, uh, some Nitichi, they're so good looking, I love them. This arrows, th that's a good shot, that's a good call. He should sh um, shoot my uh, Velites, uh, absolutely. And he's doing it now and uh, this is going to kill them pro probably. Oh, look at the arrows coming in. Oh, what did I do? This, <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna retreat my Velites. Oh no! Wow, they're, they're still. Oh no! He got wrecked! Oh my god! Damn, boy, straight in the, straight in the eye. That's that's awful. All right, let's see the battle and uh, how is it going. Of course, I'm winning the front line decisively uh, because again, like you can't beat. Like he doesn't have any chance to beat my uh, my front line. He should have used the cavalry um, if he had a better cavalry force, but he didn't. Um, so it's really, really, really hard to beat the Romans head on, um, even in vanilla um, DI. So that's um, that's lucky for me. And then of course it's you know still Galatia. What can Galatia do? Nothing. Poor boys. My oh, my firefighters are moving on the flank. Uh, I have all my cavalry here, but I think this cavalry is still hidden. 
I, 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 yeah, it was hidden. I'm moving them now. So what I'll probably, well, I mean, why do I say what I'll probably do? I know what I did. Uh, what I will do here is charge the cavalry on this cavalry here and try to break this flank. Um, by the way, I did do this, but I was also very disappointed um, because the Roman cavalry still sucks. And I did change them a little bit, um, but all in terms of prices. So these equities are now uh, way cheaper than they were before. Um, and yeah, I also made some changes on the uh, Sochi in general. They don't have any formation at all. Um, and I think they cost the same. Uh, so they're a little bit, like the infantry is a little bit uh, cheaper. Uh, but the cavalry is more expensive because it's the best um, best cavalry unit that the Romans can can have. So it was, you know, it seemed a little fair to me to don't give him any any formation um, because this is like this is not a bad cavalry unit. Like forty one armor, this is not bad. Um, you know, it's just it's just not cataphracts, but you don't pay as much as you pay for the cataphracts. So. Very wise, sir. <laughs> Look at them, just staring at the bottle as their as their infantry dies, and they're just like, "Oh wow, per." <laughs> yeah, sure. You're you're a great general, sir. Where's my gen? I I I think I charged my general in the center at a certain point, and I almost lost him. I was like, "Oh my god, my general's dying." All right, my Velites, I think they're out of ammo and they are charging. Um, the Velites should do definitely pretty well against, uh, against anything. Oh, he got legionaries. Well, but these legionaries don't stand a chance. 13, 13, 53 armor against the study, some Medici. Well, yeah, I guess the uh, study, some Medici, they, they do stand a chance. They will actually win. Uh, but what about... My Principes. No, yeah, well, 12, 17, 50 armor. Yeah, no, they have no, no chance. I, I just, I just have way more, um, way more defense. Which, by the way, um, you know, you can have um, defense stats and attack stats are not really the same. Oh, here goes my, uh, here goes my general straight into the spears. That's why I lost him. Oh god, awful charge, awful charge, I did kill zero, <laughs> I killed zero and I lost three, four, I'm gonna lose more, five, oh my god, this is a disaster, what the fuck, oh boy, oh wow, this is a terrible charge here, I do ping pong between, between units, end up maybe breaking this, yeah, breaking this noble sword, but this is this is bad. Had he shot my gen, I would have lost him. I would have definitely lost him. I, I lost 40 men to kill 32. What? Awful charge. Never do this at home. But they. Oh my God. The, <laughs> the front line is an absolute bloodbath. But you can see. I, I love this battle. Look at this. Like you can see the gradual um, advance of the Roman. Um, of the Roman formations into into the enemy. I love it. I love it. This Natus and this tri Triaria are just staring at each other. And they're just like, ah, I'm gonna kill you. I, in in a while, I will first or later kill you, Galatian. Look at them. <laughs> nice. It's like, ah, you see this sword? You see this sword? I'm gonna kill you with this. And they're just, and the Romans are just like, oh my god, filthy barbarians, they're so rude. Oh my god, I love this. Look at them, I love this uh, Gladius. Uh, oh, there he goes, there he goes, he had enough. He's had enough. He can't take any more of this, ah, no. They, they push him back into place. Come on, man. I believe in you. Oh my god. The rest of the Triari unit, they're just like, oh well, you should have kept the line. 
Alright, alright. Oh, other Triaria are coming in to uh, to help this single guy. I wanna I wanna check if he survives. <laughs> oh no! Man! Come on! They didn't do anything, they just stood there and they were like, oh well, should have kept formation. Oh, by the way, on this flank, a uh, huge, huge collapse of the lines here, uh, of the Galatian lines. I'm pouring through my, uh, whatever I've left at, at this point. Um, but this is going to be huge. This is going to be huge because it doesn't have anything to stop me except this Galatian Thorax. On this other side, the cavalry is engaging and fighting. Uh, I have the Rarari supporting my shitty cav. Um, they will do well enough. Um, I mean, the, the Galician cavalry will do well enough against my uh, cav um, if I didn't put some Rarari in. Um, my Numidian cavalry is dying, unfortunately. Sad for the Numidian cav. Uh, but this is not like the what, what, what I thought when I started to attack here. I thought like, okay, it doesn't have enough to hold me back, right? Um, so we'll just break this calf and then boom, 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 and, and it's over. Um, matter of fact, that didn't happen. Um, I was I was lucky that he broke on on this other side, so that I could um, you know sort of like you know, push from both sides and. Um, help this this little cop fight back in the in the rear oh his general broke yeah yeah at this point the battle is it's clearly my uh in my favor i uh, my defensive formations just won't die and it couldn't it couldn't do anything about it uh, i'm just very sad i lost that trari guy because he was the true roman there he was the one who was like i don't care what my uh, commander say if somebody insults my republic, I will kill that guy. So, good, good Roman, good Roman fight there, Triari, Triari boy, Triari man. Triari are not boys; those are the Astadi. Triari are men. Uh, my general, my, my general is humiliated. He's all the way back. He's just like, oh well, I, I won't do that, that again. I, that, I, let, let them, let them fight for me. He's hiding behind the bushes. He's like, oh, no, no. I, I, I hate the front line. He's like Augustus. I think Augustus didn't like the bottles um, <laughs> and usually uh, hit from uh, hit from bottles, and uh, that's what that, that was the old reason why um, Mark uh, Marcus, not Marcus, um, Antonius was. Uh, I don't remember Roman names anymore. I don't. Never mind, I was not saying anything. Galician Thorax are still holding. I think I did add the defensive formation on the Galician Thorax. Proud of that, because otherwise the Galician Thorax would suck balls. Which they still do. They're breaking in 193. But at this point, army losses, the general's dead, yeah, the battle's over. It is. <laughs> Alright, let's see the result real quick. So, again... Thanks to Sword Count, um, it was unlucky in this in this particular battle. We were all t um, we were also talking a lot um, while we were, we were playing. So, um, so yeah, as you can see, like none of his units did more than um, almost none of his units did more than a hundred kills. That's because it's really really hard um, to fight the Romans head on. Um, I thought um, that same day he brought a version of Galatia with uh, more shield walls and they worked way better. Now, had he brought the shield walls against the Romans, probably they would have done better. Probably uh, it would have held the center um, without the issue of always pushing units in to try to hold the line. Um, so yeah, that's one thing. Even because as Polybian Rome, I don't have any Oplite formation. I can't bring anything to counter Oplites. All I can do is run my very expensive defensive formation, like the Principes. I can't just let them there because they would probably die. I, I say probably because I don't, I don't know how 1.3.1 works anymore. But I guess that, mm, you know, they should die. 
Um, so, so yeah. So yeah, I love this bottle, especially because it looked good. Uh, I love my uh, my lines like the Astadi, the um, Velites, the Principes, the Triari, the Rorari on the back, which I think by the time of uh, Polybian Rome, the Rorari were not deploy deployed in the back of the Triari anymore. But I don't know. I wasn't there, you know. Uh, I wanted this guy to be my general. Uh, I couldn't for some reason, but um, yeah, I had to take the Equites Consularis as general, unfortunately. My cavalry did okay. -ish. Consider this, this is still pretty healthy. Uh, the rest of my cavalry died. Oh my God, my Numidians. Okay, this Numidians chased the units um, after routing them. So this is why they, they made 500 kills. Um, this Principes 2 made 537 kills, pretty sure this Principes, um, were the ones who flanked on the left side, um, so, yeah, of course, they, they had easy wins on their, on their side. Uh, I want to see, I want to check the Triari, ah, the Triari didn't do much, the Triari are really good at holding, but they don't really kill anything, like, they're really slow at killing, even though their stats are awesome. But, but yeah, anyway, thanks for the bottles. I don't know where I'll do the when I'll do the next video. I just think I'll probably do it. But who knows? Who knows the Johnny? Can I know the Johnny? Nobody knows the Johnny. <laughs>